Hello everyone. The problem statement is given in the description, so we are going to solve it. There is a spherical ball which is quenched in oil. So initially that spherical ball was at a higher temperature and after 5 minutes it had some temperature of 100 degree Celsius. And we are supposed to find out the heat transfer coefficient when the physical properties of that spherical ball are given. Alright. Or it is actually a cast iron ball. So let us see. Firstly we will short list the given quantity. The first thing which has been given is the diameter of this ball which is 20 centimeter or we will simply convert it into meter so it will be 0.2 meter. The next parameter which is given is the initial temperature. So the initial temperature of this ball is 400 degree Celsius and the temperature of oil is 40 degree Celsius. Also we know that after some time the temperature of that ball becomes 100 degree Celsius and that time t is nothing but 5 minutes which is 300 seconds. It is necessary to convert the time into seconds because unit of heat transfer coefficient will be watt per meter square Kelvin and the watt itself is nothing but joule per second. So this conversion is necessary. Also the density of that cast iron ball is given as 7000 kg per meter cube and then specific heat of that cast iron ball is given as 320 joule per kg Kelvin. Remember if the specific heat is given in kilojoule we have to convert it into joule because again the same reason that unit of heat transfer coefficient will be joule per second it will not be kilojoule per second all right so firstly what we need to do we need to write down the temperature distribution so we know that the temperature distribution for this lump system analysis already in the problem statement it is mentioned that you can use lump system analysis you cannot calculate pi out number over here because heat transfer coefficient is not available so the temperature distribution is given as tt minus t infinity upon ti minus t infinity will be exponential of minus h ast upon rho v c now we can substitute the values but before that we will try to find out the value of this as upon v we don't need to calculate these two values separately we can combine them to find out a single quantity, right? Because it is a spherical ball, so this AS upon V. The surface area for this spherical ball will be 4 pi R square. And the volume for this spherical ball will be 4 by 3 pi R cube. So 4 from the numerator, 4 from the denominator will be absorbed pi will be absorbed from the numerator and denominator r square from numerator from denominator will be absorbed so only ultimately what remains with you is 3 upon r so as upon v this entire quantity is only 3 upon r where r is the radius of the sphere of this ball so from here we can deduce that r is nothing but 10 centimeter because diameter is 20 centimeter so r is equal to 0 0.1 meter that's it so ultimately this will become 3 divided by 0 0.1 as simple as that you can calculate that quantity and then we can substitute it over here we will put in all the values now so tt temperature at particular time t is 100 degree celsius so i will start writing down the temperature di uh, distribution t infinity is 40 degrees celsius after that this ti minus t infinity so initial temperature is 400 degrees celsius so that 400 minus 40 it is equal to exponential of h is unknown and then as upon v is already known to us multiplied by 3 divided by 0 0.1 but before that i will write the value of rho the density is 7000 multiplied by 0 
multiplied by this time t is known to me it is 300 seconds and finally the specific heat is 320 okay so you calculate this particular ratio it will be 60 divided by 360 and its answer will be this ratio will be 0 0.166 it will be equal to exponential of this entire bracket so that entire bracket except h this entire bracket will turn out to be 4.0178 into 10 raise to minus 3 so this will be exponential of minus h multiplied by 4.0178 into 10 raise to minus 3 actually no need to go for this step if you are good at using your calculator I am just providing it to you for the confirmation of your answer. Now, what we need to do? Now, what we need to do? This is exponential at this side. We will take it on the other side. So, what you get? You get a natural log of this 0 0.166. So, that log is nothing but. So, ln of this quantity. So, I will omit this step. So, ultimately, if I extract it on this side. So it will become ln of this quantity and this natural log of 0.166 will be minus 1.7917. It will be equal to on the right hand side the remaining quantity minus h multiplied by 4.0178 into 10 raise to minus 3. Now you will see that this negative and this negative they will cancel each other h will be on one side this entire parameter can divide 1.7917 so because of that the value of h that you will get will be 445.95 watt per meter square kelvin that's your final answer so I have provided these steps so that at every step you can verify whether you are on the right track or not so ultimately this uh, uh, this uh, numerical problem was asked in Mumbai University examination in November 2019 I hope this solution is useful to you to understand the concept of transient heat transfer thank you very much